everyone, I'm Chester44 and welcome to this Let's Play of Queen's Wish, The Conqueror! Last episode, we made our way into Greatport here and managed to save it from a bunch of bandits. And now, with it secured and, res and resources now coming in, it's time to head south and report in back at the fort. Let's go do that and see what we can do now. Oh! You returned to Fort Haven. Things are already very different. When the ships landed at Great Porch, soldiers rushed out. Some bore weapons. Others pulled wagons full of equipment. They got here ahead of you and have already started to work. You hear warriors drilling, nails being hammered into wood, shouts and cheers. Queen Sharon made sure this expedition was well planned. You think you had best see how Chief Miranda is doing. You can now use the world map to fast travel. Oh! Well, that's useful. And it actually says how many resources are produced. That's very interesting. Okay. Well, with the chief here... Huh. Good goodbye. Okay. <laughs> I speak to a townsperson, and the one thing they have to say is goodbye. The guard says we will rebuild. Okay. Let us speak with the chief. Oh! Four, back... Oh! Oh, that's neat! The guards are actually pacing back and forth. I like that. Alright. When you enter her office, Miranda is so overwhelmed with enthusiasm that she almost forgets to kneel to you. Oh, Prince, it is amazing! Are you responsible for all of these new soldiers and supplies? Greatport has been retaken. Oh, we gained a level. Characters now have more health and energy, and their abilities and attacks will be more effective. Each time you gain a level, you will also gain a skill point. When you are in one of your forts, you can spend skill points to gain new abilities, or make your old abilities more effective. Okay. You tell the tale of your epic, kinda, assault on the port and the battle with Clokar. Chief Miranda is envious that she could not witness it. Even better, the ships have landed and delivered their goods. We have many resources now. The rebuilding can begin. Many soldiers came off the ships. Where did they go? There were three battalions on those ships. They split up and went to each of the three nations surrounding us. The Ukatish, the Vol, and the Ariel are in for an ugly surprise. Enough resources to repair the portal home? Uh, I don't know much about portals. Sage Harlan upstairs knows about that. I don't tinker with magic. So what has arrived exactly? So many things. I will explain what it all is and how to use it. The first thing we'll work with is the stone and the wood. So, now what? We need to start rebuilding this fort. It will be a good base for the operations to come. You are the prince, so you will direct what is to be built, and I will make it happen. With your permission, I will need to give you some advice on it for how rebuilding works. Alright, how do I direct the rebuilding? So many of our buildings crumbled from neglect or were torn down from materials, workshops, and stalls. We need space to build shops. Each place that can be rebuilt has a stone marker next to it. I will make wood available. Go outside and select a marker. I will have our laborers get to work. Okay. Interesting. You will need workshops to equip your character. To place them, you will need buildings. Go outside. Use two stone markers and choose to rebuild two buildings or stalls. Rebuilding will each, each will cost two wood. Well, first, I want to level up. Because we can. So, we can't upgrade anything here, apparently. Two levels of skills in the tier below it. Good to know. Hmm. Uh, kinda, actually, I want to get skill skin. Uh, should I? Because, actually, I should get... Okay. Oh! Oh! That's interesting. I can actually gain more skill points if I don't like how it's set up. That's nice. I'll grab Fast Faint. Okay. Elspeth, let's see here. Grab Whirlwind Attack. Terence, 
You are our support. Uh, would be useful. Grab speed. I want to get abilities and the like. And Patricia is our mage. So you will get... Weakness? No. Call bones. That's actually a good idea. And now that I think about it, I should have gotten a support, a cultural thing. But you know what? It's fine. I can still re redo it any time. That's actually not bad, then. Haven's Command, damage bonus to all allies within four spaces. We should do that. I think it's fine. It'll delay our combat abilities, but I think it's fine. We'll give a bonus. Uh, Stonehouse, any messages for me? The portal has been humming alarmingly. This usually signifies that someone back at Sharon's palace wants to speak with you. Let's do so, then. You get close to the portal and touch it. The humming deepens. The whispers quiet. Then you hear a voice. It is your mother. Rupert, is this working? Are you there? She speaks too slowly, and her voice is way too loud. Or so Queen Sharon is. Uh, you don't need to talk so loud. What? I... Oh. I understand the ships I sent have landed. Supplies are provided. Our three battalions are moving into position. Wait, how did you know? Are you spying on me? Of course I am, Rupert. You think I let events happen in our vast estates without knowing all I can about it? Especially when my child is there? Don't be foolish. The boats have landed. The forts are being restored. The Queen is pleased. That is good. Necessary. If you are going to enter the three nations of Sacramentum and deal with them, you will need visible strength behind you. The troops we sent are our best. Sacramentum will fear them. You gave me a job. I will do it. I have waited so long to hear that resolve in your voice. I tried to trust you before, but it never worked out. Maybe at last we can begin to talk as rulers. Uh, one more thing. Yes? We are thinking of you. Your family wants you to succeed. Come back to this portal often. We long to guide you. Good fortune, my child. Make Haven strong. You try to respond, but the humming and the whispers have returned. The queen is gone. Okay. Good to know, then. Before I go outside... Uh... No, you know what? Let's, let's get on rebuilding. We'll speak with him after, because we need to learn about this. So, let's see. Um... You know what? Let's rebuild these two on the west side. Would you like to construct this building? Yes. Not that there's anything in there. And this building? Yes. Also completely empty. Okay. Now, let us speak again, Miranda. I have commanded that a building be rebuilt. That is a bare space. Now we need to fill it with something. Blacksmiths, weavers, woodworkers, even brewers. The more we have, the more money we can make, and the better equipment will be available. You can now direct us to rebuild the shops. How do I replace our lost shops? First, we need to turn supplies into equipment. Give the command, and I will turn our resources into a shop. The most urgent things to defend ourselves are a blacksmith and an apothecary. Miranda makes more resources available. End the conversation to learn how to buy shops. When you have bought a smithy and an apothecary, talk to Miranda again. Quite a few resources. To place a shop, you first need to buy it. You really need a blacksmith and, a po and an apothecary. First, press the Buy Buildings button, then press the plus to the right of the smithy and the apothecary to buy them. Once you have them, report to uh, her. So, let's see. What do we have? We've got smithy. A fully equipped blacksmith. Buy new metal weapons and armor and install augments into your gear. Creating more smithies enables you to buy more powerful metal armor and weapons. Apothecary. A workshop for making enchanted brews. Come here to fill your potion bottles with different sorts of potions. Create more apothecaries to be able to buy more powerful potions. Weaving room. A workshop for creating cloth and making it into fine garments. Buy new robes and hoods here. Building two weaving rooms also increases the size of your backpacks by one. Yes! 
Carpenter, a carpenter's workshop. Come here to buy shields, bows, wands, and staves. Creating more workshops, woodworking shops makes more powerful equipment available. Barracks, quarters for soldiers loyal to you. The presence of a barracks reduces theft of your resources in this region. Oh. Each new barracks gives you a damage bonus in combat. Ooh, plus one damage to melee for odd barracks and missiles magic for and missiles and magic for even barracks. Interesting. Mill. Farmers bring their grain here to be milled. A valuable addition that earns you more gold. Okay. Useful. Distillery. Used to make alcoholic beverages. A valuable addition that earns you more gold. You will need to build a mill in this fort before your distillery will generate money. And bakery. Used to bake fresh bread, which is always popular. A valuable addition that earns you more gold. You need to earn, build a mill in this fort before your bakery will generate money. So we need a mill in order for a distillery or bakery to work. Guard towers. Installs ballistas and other arms into your guard towers. This reduces theft of your resources in this region. Buying more guard towers reduces the damage you take in combat. Interesting. Portal home. Changes a portal in your home fort, enabling you to teleport back home to Sharon's palace. Only return home when you are ready to report to your queen and embrace your fate. This upgrade is placed automatically. Something it's good. Now we know how to do it. Upgrade fort. A major renovation of your fort, replacing the wooden walls with stone. Increases the resources gathered and reduces theft in this region. Then we have bed, cosmetic terrain. A nice bed for your staff to rest in. Four facings available. Chair, a nice stair chair for your staff to sit on. Table, you need to buy each section of a table individually. Place at least two table sections to make it look right. North, south, and east, west facings are available. Shop banner, banners that identify stores. Place outside your buildings to remember what you put in there. Eight different banners available. Good to know. Chest, a handy chest to store your items. Going to want one. Pillar, a cosmetic pillar for your buildings. Statue, a statue to pretty up the place. Two variants available. Cabinet, a cabinet to make your quarters look nicer. Five variants available. Tree, pretty tree, pretty shrub. Armor stand, an armor stand to make your fort look tough and imposing. Four variants available. Weapon, four variants of decorative weapon. Needs to be placed against the north wall. Painting, six variants of decorative painting. Needs to be placed against the north wall. Rune, four variants of decorative rune or skull. Needs to be placed against the north wall. Container, baskets, crates, barrels, and other containers to make your fort look lived in. Eight different variants. Decorations, looms, piles of books, and other amenities to make your fort look lived in. Eight different variants. Campfire, a nice cozy campfire. And well. Two variants of well, pretty's up the place. Interrogator, interrogation equipment in case you want to feel like your character is really getting serious with rebels. <laughs> cage, a cage for prisoners, really ties the fort together. And bookshelves, makes everyone think that you're smart. I find it interesting that all the cosmetics only cost gold. The th things that actually cost materials cost gold and these other things. So let's get the smithy and the apothecary. Bam and bam. All right. I have bought a smithy and an apothecary, Miranda. Excellent. The final thing to do is say where they will be built. Your trials are almost complete. So I have to place the shops. How does that work? Go to the building or stall you rebuilt. You can also place a shop in the northeast tower. Rebuild our smithy and our apothecary. When, uh, how do I decide where to place the shop? You can only place shops on wooden floors. Also, each building only has room for one shop. You will need to keep rebuilding to make more shops. What can I place besides shops? You can make all sorts of decorative furniture. You can plant trees if you are inclined. You can do a lot of decorating. It won't help in your battles, though. Mm, but this fort desperately needs decoration. But then I have more to clean. I'll get that done. I can't wait to have proper weapons and potions again. Go to one of the buildings you built. You can then place your blacksmith and apothecary. Press the Place Buildings button, select the shop, and select the space where you want it to go. You need to place a shop on a wood floor. It has to be free of other stuff. It can't be next to a stairway or doorway. Place both shops, then return to Miranda. Okay. I just want to see something. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
eight things that we can make. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and something in the northeast tower here. So we actually have space for nine, which is interesting. Okay, first things first, I kind of want to put the smithy in here, I think. Uh, smithy. Oh! Oh, that's interesting. It doesn't take up the full space. Very interesting. And there we have the smithy. What's this button? We can rename the fort! Oh, that's interesting. But uh, that's it there. So if we pe speak to the blacksmith, you visit the blacksmith. Here you can buy fine new weapons and armor. You can also turn excess equipment into gold. You can also install augments and runes into your weapons and armor. I want to improve my items. Teach me how! You can get augments and runes at your alchemist. Augments improve armor and protect you. Runes improve weapons and helmets and make you stronger in battle. The smith gives you a rune. I can attach that to an item for you. I can also remove augments and runes. They'll cost money. Just ask. Uh, okay. I definitely can. Deadeye rune. 5% hit chance. You know what? I probably should. Oh. Uh, weapon or helmet. Is that our only options? And that one's a piece of armor. So, we'll do that with a Deadeye Rune. Okay, so if we hit OK, you conclude your business. And, okay, that was done. You, however, are our healer. Hmm, I can't actually... Oh, wait, I think I can doesn't have any augment slots. Oh, we need augment slots! Okay, good to know. Definitely good to know. Keep that in mind. Uh, I want to sell that, 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 and that. Free up some space. Uh, if I want to buy, select the sort of item you wish to create. The more smithies you have built in your forts, the better the quality of items available. Note that arcane weapons do magical damage, but can only be used by characters who have trained in magic spells. What have we got in weapons? Ah, uh, you haven't built enough smithies to maintain. But we got bronze dagger, iron dagger, blessed dirk, folded steel dagger, iron short blade, steel rapier. Okay, I see how it works. And then we have spears. So we have three types of weapons. Daggers, which give a speed bonus, swords, and pole arms. Okay, what about arcane weapons? For that, which would go to you. Oh, oh, we don't have enough. We don't have enough smithies to maintain any of them. Interesting. Arcane dagger, f arcane weapons. That's interesting. Oh, uh, hmm. Okay, what about armor? We can get up to leather armor, or we can actually get bronze scale armor. Which uh, does look pretty good. So I've got leather types of armor, we've got... and we've got chain armor, and then we've got metal armor. Okay, interesting. Haven plate looks very interesting. Okay, and helmet. Pretty simple. Leather cap, leather helm, fine leather helm, iron chain helm, and then it gets... Haven Bassinet. This is interesting stuff. But uh, I am done shopping, and that is all. Probably shouldn't have upgraded my sword. Okay, and this one is going to have the Apothecary. Okay. The alchemist of your fort is waiting for you, surrounded by bubbling pots and bundles of dried herbs. If you want to change a potion stored in one of your flasks, your alchemist can do this. When you drink a potion during an adventure, it will be refilled when you return to one of your forts. Ooh! You can also purchase runes to improve your weapons and helmets and, and augments to improve any armor. Please make me a potion. The alchemist is thrilled. Of course, Prince. We are able to craft a flask for you, suitable to carry enchanted fluid. You receive a healing potion. If you must drink the potion, return the flask to one of your forts, and the Guild of Alchemists will refill it to you. As we gain more resources, we can make more flasks for you. And one can contain a different thing. We've got healing potion, weapon poison, 
We've got Bone Flask, Calls of Bones, Wood Skin Potion, Evasion, Cure Nearby Allies, Haste, Restore Energy, would be very useful, Iron Skin Potion, Goo Flask, Summon a Slime, Battle Potion, useful, Jar of Medicine, seems very useful, Restoration Potion, uh, Infernal Flask, and Power Potion, also useful. Okay, I want to make runes. We've got Deadeye, Strength for Physical Damage, Shock for Magical Damage, Cursed Deterioration, Critical Chance, more Physical and Magical Damage. Oh, Folded Steel Room for more damage to Ariel, more damage to Vol, and more damage to Ukatash. Ukatish. Very interesting. What about augments? Healing, iron for armor, staunching, duration, more speed, curse resistance, physical evasion, magical evasion, heal more healing bonus, more mental resist, stun resist, bleed and poison resist, more speed bonus, and more physical armor. Okay, that is all. Okay. Um, you are going to... Why can't I put it on... Oh! Okay, that's how. Okay, you're gonna hold on to that, and you're going to hold on to one. I'd love to have one for each of them, but... Okay! That is accomplished. Let's go report back in. Uh, Miranda, you now have a smithy and apothecary. Marvelous! After cowering in this fort for so long, we can finally repay the other nations for the insults they have given us. Don't stop building, though. Each sort of shop will give you valuable advantages. When you rebuild our six lost forts in the other nations, more shops will give you even better equipment. Oh, and if you didn't already, speak to the alchemist and start getting potions. What else can I build? So many shops. Woodworkers for better bows and shields. Weavers for better robes and cowls and bigger backpacks. Mills and breweries to earn money. There are many options to play with. I still don't have a working portal. That may be a challenge. Sage Harlan can restore that, but it will take a lot of materials. Far more than we have now. You can eventually choose to restore the portal on the buy buildings window. Then you can return home. It'll take a lot of materials, though. Are you finally through giving me advice? You know enough to restore Sacramentum to its rightful place as Haven's Colony. I can give you a lot of information. For example, if you want to fight to regain our mines and quarries, I can suggest places to go. I may also sometimes need your help with a major decision. Please, come and see me often. I would be honored. The great work can begin! The great work? It has been so hard watching the arrogant Ariel, the greedy Vol, the vengeful Ukatish. They owe us so much. Then the moment our land was cursed and we were weak, they broke every agreement with us. We are back. Queen Sharon is supporting us. We will make them pay. Please come check in with me as you expand our colony. I can give you valuable information and direct you to places where you can greatly increase our strength. I was sent here to reclaim Sacramento. Of course you were. We never thought otherwise. We always knew that Queen Sharon would not abandon us. We never dreamed we would be so lucky enough to have a prince here. My duty is to fight for Haven. This colony will be restored. I will be honored to help you in whatever way I can. Uh, I want to know more about Sacramentum. Of course, it is a wild, confusing, and valuable colony. I will help how I can. There are three nations here, each with its own lands, valuable resources, and backwards culture. What are the three nations? They are Ukat, the swamplands to the northwest, Ariel, the deep woods to the east, and the Vol in the Meraki Mountains to the south. Each of them owes us a great debt. The reputation of Haven requires they pay it. Each currently has a battalion of soldiers at its border. Go there to learn more about each nation. How did you come to serve here? The chief suddenly becomes quiet and reserved. I only wanted to fight for Haven. It is a dangerous world. I want for our people to be safer. A diplomatic answer. She might say more if she had more reason to trust you. How did this colony fall? It was all going well. The three nations had treaties with us. We kept order. Everyone got rich. 
It's the sort of thing that is happening again right now. Why were we so outnumbered? It is Haven's way. We don't have that many soldiers or mages. We have wealth. In each nation we find factions who will ally with us and help them take control. Then these new leaders sign treaties with us. They pay us for our support. However, if an entire country rises against us at once, we must leave. Our soldiers are very high quality, but we don't have enough of them to control the whole world. Interesting. I want to know the status of the three other nations. Of course, I can provide an evaluation of our relations with Ukat, the Vol, and Ariel. Tell me of the Ukatish. You have not yet made contact with our battalion at the border of Ukatish lands. To get there, leave this fort and follow the roads to the west. Try to rebuild both our forts there as soon as possible. Many Ukatish secretly want us to return and bring trade and security with us. Those forts will give them places to rally and offer their support. Tell me of the Vol. Okay. You have not yet made contact with our battalion at the border of Vol lands. To get there, leave this fort and follow the roads to the south. The Vol are up in the mountains there. Try to rebuild both our forts there as soon as possible. Many Vols secretly want us to return and fight for their faction. Those forts will give them places to rally and offer their support. Tell me of the Ariel. Uh, may Ariel Woods, get there early, follow the roads to the east. Try to rebuild both our forts there as soon as possible. Many people in Ariel, especially in the trench towns, secretly want us to return and bring trade and security with us. Those forts will give them places to rally and offer their support. That is all. I hope I was of help. Less than I'd hoped. We need resources. Any missions worthy of one of my rank? There are multiple opportunities near us to gain resources and reclaim our lands. Since you came here to fight, I can suggest where you might improve our strength with minimal effort or risk. Tell me about problems in Ukatish lands. The most immediate outrage is not far to the west. One of our best farming towns, Kellerin, cut off contact with Fort Haven about a year ago. I believe that brigands and deserters have taken the town over and replaced the mayor there. Going there and taking back control would be a wonderful way to announce that things are changing. Know anything about these brigands? I've heard that their leader calls himself Sergeant Brandon. He, is he one of our soldiers, or is he just calling himself Sergeant as a joke? I don't know. A haven town turned against me? That is how far this poor colony has fallen, yes. Happily, I think that confronted by true royalty, they will submit to us again. What is the advantage of doing this? Apart from helping the poor people of Kellerin, you should be able to recover valuable supplies and equipment from the brigands there. This will also prevent the brigands from robbing our supplies. I'm not sure if the mayor there, Mayor Pangle, is still alive. If you can, that is the first person you should talk to when you arrive. Okay. What about the lands by the Ariel? This is somewhat embarrassing. Another of our towns has fallen out of our control. It is called Tainley to the northeast. They stopped communicating with us some months ago. It is a great shame, as they were one of our best quicksilver processors. It might be wise to go there and see if they are all right. So the town is... lost? As I said, they stopped sending quicksilver. I sent two soldiers to investigate. They didn't return. I stopped sending anyone. I just didn't have the forces to spare. What do you think is wrong in Tainley? I don't know. However, they are close to the words of the Ariel. The Ariel have many strange sorts of magic. Their mages make odd creatures. They play with the minds of others. Someone might be playing a very nasty prank on Haven. Are the people of Tainley traitors? I hope not. They may not have been given a choice in whatever happened. I only hope they are still alive. What can we reclaim in Vol lands? Ah, uh, ah, that is easy. The Serpent Quarry is not far to the southeast. There are monsters there keeping us from recovering precious stones. I hesitate to ask, but you could gain a lot of resources with very little work. What monsters should I expect? The quarry grew infested with its nasty namesake reptiles. Snakes, quite a few of them, and our workers won't go back until it is safe. They hate snakes. At least I hope that is the only problem. Anything else I should expect there? Well, it is wild land near Vol territory. That means there is always a chance that you will meet escaped Owen. This can create a variety of problems. Escaped Owen? Owen are lifelong indentured servants of the Vol. 
Sometimes they hate this and escape. Then we catch them. Queen Sharon always had us return them to the Vol. This can be very upsetting. Hmm. And what do I do about them if I find them? I am very happy to say that as I am not the prince, it won't be my decision. The Vol is led by the Masha, the owners. Queen Sharon brought the Vol's support by supporting the Masha and controlling the people they own. I don't have any opinions about this. I'm just a chief. I follow orders. That's all I need to know. All right, goodbye. Safe travels, Prince of Haven. So, there is a town to the west, the my, uh, reclaiming the Ukat. Kelleran, that is one of the places we need to go to. We also have the Tainley Mines to the northeast. That's the Ariel Thicket, reclaiming the Ariel. And down here, Serpent Quarry, with the Volgates here. Well, I'm going to finish clearing out this area in Greatport, but then I'm going to need to figure out which direction I'm going to go. They suggested the Serpent Quarry, because it's going to be very easy, but we also have the Ariel Forest to the east with the Tainley Mines, which I also should check, and a town to the west, Kelleran, which is apparently bandits and people will be stealing stuff from us. Okay, uh, Stonehouse. Any messages? No. Uh, are we making progress bringing civilization to this backwater? Not really. I did obtain several books from one of our new outposts. He sees your unhappy expression. No progress, no. What did the people of Sacramentum think of me? Unable to determine. Oh! You have shown a surprising tendency toward acting in the interest of Haven. Your mother will be guardedly pleased. How am I progressing in reclaiming? Uh, nothing there. That is all. Alright, thank you. Now, let us speak with the sage. Uh, I have obtained supplies and soldiers for you. I am here on a mission from Queen Charlin, Sharon, Sage Harlan. So I gathered. Your butler mentioned something about rebuilding this lost colony. It is long overdue. I can provide much information and guidance in your quest. All I need to know is the path you plan to follow. I will restore this colony and begin peaceful trade with the nation of Sacramentum. That is a relief. As much as I enjoy studying the nations here, they are still vassals of Haven. While their behavior has earned a stern punishment, if you wish to show mercy, we will learn from your wisdom. I could use some information. Of course. You may wish to know about the soldiers that have come under your control. Also, I'm sure you are interested in the portal downstairs. It is a great resource. How did you come to be here? This episode's going to be a bit long, by the way. Oh, it is a long story. I would hardly waste your time. Tell me. I was sent here by the Queen to study the three nations of Sacramentum, to learn about their cultures, resources, and opportunities for profit. Then the calamity happened. Early on, this fourth scribe died of an illness. I asked to come home. Instead, I was told that I could best serve Haven by helping to run this fort. I have done so, studying the colony and the calamity as best I could, while watching it crumble. That is all. How can I restore the portal home? It must be refueled. To carry you home, it simply needs to be infused with quicksilver. A fair amount of quicksilver. Once this is done and you feel it timely, you can use the portal to return home. Where can I get so much quicksilver? It is a rare and precious substance, but Sacramentum has much of it. You can capture mines, you can loot this stuff from our enemies, you can even trade for it. You will, however, have to leave this fort and explore. Tell me about Haven's military. They will be a great resource to you. The three nations of Sacramentum closed their borders to us after the Calamity. Our soldiers may need to force their borders open and keep them open. There is much our soldiers can do and much they can't. We are powerful and weak. We are powerful and weak? Haven will never have enough soldiers to command the world. Instead, we make the three nations of Sacramentum our vassals. We find people in each nation who will rule it to our benefit. Then we use our highly skilled and trained warriors to make it happen. They are a powerful, precise weapon. It is up to our leaders, to you, to direct it with maximum efficiency. Hmm. How is our army organized? You have three battalions at your disposal, one camped by each nation. Each is commanded by a general. Each contains around 400 of Haven's finest soldiers. You have a full 400 soldiers for each vassal nation? 
You are reassured. The odds are very much in your favor. Who do I talk to to make things happen? Go to each battalion and speak to the general in charge. He or she will be able to give you information on the situation and make suggestions for how each nation might be entered. Once inside, you will need to explore, rebuild our forts, make the correct diplomatic connections, and figure out what must be done to bring our vassals to heel. Tell me about the lands of Sacramento. There are three nations here, the Vol, Ukat, and Ariel, all of which signed treaties with Haven giving us certain privileges, all of which reneged on their promises. If you visit our battalion in Haven lands near each nation, they can tell you much more. Tell me about Ukat. The swamps to the, re to the west, rich with iron, a strange, angry people. They have excellent weapons and vicious warriors, but they are dirty and poor, with a long history of being abused and raided by the Vol and Ariel. They are full of resentment and quick to take insult. They are also pathetically easy to win over with even the slightest bit of respect. Who are the Ariel? The denizens of the thick forests to the east. A strange remote people, skilled in magic, protective of their privacy, and unbelievably arrogant. They're wealthy and their leaders drink elixir. These potions made from quicksilver give them long life, magical protection, and inevitably madness. That these people also lead the nation makes it very unstable. And how about the Vol? A strong nation. Stone workers who have built powerful cities in the mountains to the south. There are two classes of note there, the Masha and the Owen. The Owen are people who fell in debt and were put into lifelong servitude. These are marked by lines tattooed on their faces. The Masha own the Owen. To gain power there, one must be a Masha. Alas, the number of Owen has increased greatly, and rebellion is always close. Queen Sharon gained great advantage among the Masha by helping them control the Owen. Hmm. What is the status of Haven lands? Alas, I am not sure. There have been so many raids, so many bandits, so many plagues that I can't be sure. The effects of the calamity have faded, but they left us weak. There is much we don't know about the status of our lands. If only someone could leave our fort, visit the six survey points, and look around, we would know much that we didn't. He looks at you meaningfully. What are survey points? Standard haven procedure around all of our vassal states. They are places scouts routinely go to survey the status in the lands we control, directly or indirectly. Where are the survey points? They are all next to the water, so we can survey both land and sea. There are six of them, two by each of the three nations of Sacramentum. If you visit the three battalions waiting outside those nations, you should find one survey point if you go right, and one if you go left. You may also find valuable things that make such a tedious exercise worth your time. Such as? As you explore the outdoors, you will find the occasional cache of building supplies. Once you have located it, when you return to one of Haven's forts, workers can be sent out to claim the supplies and bring them here for your use. Huh. I also want to know more about the loss of this colony. Yes, the Calamity. I have given much time to studying this event. When Haven's control of Sacramentum seemed secure, for a period of three years, we were afflicted by a majestic and vicious curse. It was our ruin. What form did the curse take? Great misfortune. Our crops died, our animals sickened, our wells dried up. Every scrap of Haven land stopped producing what was needed for life. Seeing our weakness, the three nations expelled our troops and closed our, their borders. It must have involved incredible magic. Incredible, awesome, unprecedented, far beyond anything Sacramentum should have been capable of. I will help you with your investigations. I think it will be worth your time. Sometimes a rare merchant comes to Fort Haven bearing messengers. Some of these messengers often offer knowledge about the calamity. I have been unable to contact the senders. You can, though. The most recent message, and maybe the most useful, came from a mage named Elon. He seems to be a wealthy researcher in the Vol. It will be interesting to hear what he has to say. What do you most want to know? The answer to the biggest mystery. Who caused the calamity, and who ended it? If we know this, we might be able to learn how to prevent it from happening again. Where is this Ilon? The message was sadly unclear. It simply says, Sage Ilon of a quarry of the Central Vol. Are you sure Ilon is still alive? No. Even if you find that this clue leads to nothing valuable that is still helpful. That is all I need. Then I wish you good fortune, Prince of Haven. So, that may answer a question. I feel like we are going to have to follow the path of the Calamity in order to do things. 
Uh, just one or two more things that I want to do quickly. What was that? Miranda asked for you. Okay, does Miranda have something to say? Uh, no, I don't believe so. Okay. Thank you. Uh, one more thing I just want to do. That is specifically just to uh, make note of things. Where is it? Where is it? Shop banners. I want two of them. So, if I want to place a shop banner here... Oh, really? I can't put it there? Okay. Here. Ah! Okay. Smith, apothecary, loom, woodworker, can't remember, barracks, uh, mill, brewery, bakery. Okay, and that's the apothecary. Okay, uh, I'm not sure if we... We don't really have enough material to do anything else at all. Oh boy, none of it. We need a lot more resources. We need to rebuild stuff. We need to build a barracks. I'm pretty sure a barracks is the next thing I want to make. Barracks next, and then carpenter. I think those will be needed. I think uh, barracks here, carpenter here, weaver here. And then we'll do the three gold makers here, here, and here. And it, it sad, sounded like we can make more things in here if we want to. I may build a second barracks or something. I don't know. And I'd love to be able to put some more things in here to decorate. That would actually probably be a very lovely idea. In fact, putting a mill... A, uh... You know what? What the hell? Right here, we could use a well. One well. Oh, it's actually quite big that it needs to be. Okay, I didn't realize. Um... You know what? Sure. I mean, I'd like to put it here. It's right in front. I don't like... Actually, right here looks good. I think. Yeah. Yeah, a well right in the middle of town. Right where people can all get to it. Eh, I think we'll stick with... Uh, yeah, I think we'll stick with this. Okay. And we have a well to decorate. I think that's fine. And I am going to go ahead and end this episode here, because it has definitely gone on long enough. Just take a quick walk outside to regain your health. Alright. And that is going to be the end of this episode. Next episode, we're going to start our exploration around the region. I think what we're probably going to do is take a look at this area here, just to get it explored. And then I think the first place we should go is... Free Kelleran from the Bandits. Then we'll probably deal with Serpent Quarry. No, then actually we'll probably go to the Tainly Mines, since they vanished. And then the Serpent Quarry. If it's filled with monsters, I think it can wait. So that's our order. Clear out the area around Greatport. Clear out the area around here. Not go in there. And then clear, clear out the area around here. And then around here. Then once Haven Lands are dealt with, we'll probably start with the Vol. Hmm. Anyway. That is going to be in the next episode, because this one has definitely gone on long enough. So, until then, I'm Chusuk44, that is uh, Rupert, Elspeth, Terence, and Patricia. This has been a Let's Play of Queen's Wish the Conqueror, and I shall see you all next time.